But I'll tell you what, I don't know how he's going to do it, and he may have to do some of that. But I'm telling you right now, he is coming with a revival that's going to transform. And he's going to use the shaking, too. And he's going to get us back to that place that we need to be. He's already moving the church there. There's a remnant. It's much bigger than it was a year ago. Yeah. And even a lot bigger than it was two years ago. That little praying remnant's not 100. It's not 40 or 50,000 people anymore. No. No. It's several million people. And if you're going to count around the world, it's millions of people. I have more people read the posts every day overseas than do here in America. Yeah, wow. yeah. I have millions of people that read it overseas. Mm -hmm. During the election thing in 2020, there were five and six million people in China reading it every day. Wow. I've never been to China. It wasn't because they know who I am. <laughs> The person who told me about it, I didn't even believe them. I said, well, yeah. I said, they're not, that. that's crazy. That's not happening. How, and how would you know anyway? She said, because I translated. <laughs> and I'm connected to the underground church in China. Yeah. I said, they, they don't have a lot to read, you know. And, and we sit, I, I translate and send over there, and several million of them read it, and, and they're praying for America every day. And I said, <laughs> why? Because she said, they know if America goes under or is taken over or destroyed, it's over for all of us. And now we still, every once in a while, we'll be, another nation and language will show up. And somebody said, by the way, we translate them every day over here and thousands of people. And it's in French, it's in Spanish, it's in Chinese. And who knows? The remnant, the ecclesia, is growing. Yeah. And a lot of prayer is taking place. And I was so deeply moved during that prayer effort we did a few, just a few months back to, to know that nobody planned and orchestrated this. God just has a people out there now. They see it. It bears witness. We're going to do this. And the testimonies by the thousands coming in. Well, I can't drive, but I sit in my living room every day and get my oil on my map, and I draw, and I, and I got an oil-soaked map, and one guy said, I rode my bike to every borough in New York, all the streets and alleys, and I, people drove thousands of miles, and walked hundreds of miles, and flew airplanes in the borders of, it's crazy. There's a praying church. Yes. I am confident. Totally confident. That we're going to get this thing tuned back where we need to be. We're going to fulfill our destiny once again. We're going to see this revival we've been asking for. He's been speaking of. We're going to get the nation healed. We're going to get rid of the discord and the loss of purpose. I've known for Almost 35 years. I don't know how. I, I don't know when I started seeing this. I'm not really sure how I knew. Maybe it was prophetic. Maybe I saw some things that, in natural. I don't remember. But I've known for 35 years that there is no human solution that can right this ship. I mean, everybody, we all know it now. I mean, everybody knows it now. Even people that aren't prophetic at all. I mean, even people aren't saved. They just don't, hardly, most of them don't have any hope because they don't believe what we believe, but they don't see any way it can happen. But it was obvious to me then that this cannot be fixed humanly. Government can't do it. Education can't do it. 
good ideas, programs, that it's just not gonna happen. The only thing that can get us back in tune with him is gonna have to happen in here. Millions of Americans being born again and having God's heart, mind, will, laws, spirit written here. You can change any law you want to change, it's, but I agree with the justice. I can't do it until you do it. So, we... We find ourselves at this place now where you know, I hoped it wouldn't come to this. That God could turn us and restore us without this shaking. But you know, in my post, I've also called it a merciful shaking. Because it's not coming to destroy us. It's coming to save us. We're going to get this thing back in tune. I think, frankly, there are going to be quite a few things that look a lot different when this is all over. In a good way. I think the reset is going to be very obvious that it's happened. I don't know how bad it will get, but I know it will save us, not destroy us. You must know that. We're going to get this thing back in tune, and if you do follow the post, we're going to get this new wine. Remember that dream, I hope, where we mixed up all the old wines from the past and Hodges was in charge. You know it's God dream when Hodges is in charge. He's the wine master. Taking all these 12 wine, these revivals from the past and saying, you make this in on this one and this little this. And, and I love it at the end of that dream when we've got it all mixed and it's in bottles. New wine. Hodges says, now let's go finish this. That's awesome when you said that, Jim, in the dream. 